Oh, we almost used the whole budget. So in today's video, I'm going to be switching up and we're going to be doing a renovation challenge. And this challenge is whatever the price of the house is, that's going to be my budget. So this is the house right here. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom home. And the price of this house is $38,910. So I'm going to just pull my little money thing up and type in $38,910. And now, as you can see, we got the budget. So let's start renovating this. We need to go ahead and just remove all this little ugly grass from the exterior and then as i was removing that grass i noticed that this roof is not pulled all the way back so i'm gonna just go ahead and pull it all the way back remove this satellite off the top and get rid of this little stuff right oh and get rid of this little stuff right here so i want to go back with soldering on this one and i'm going to use the same type of soldering just a different color maybe we'll go with this light gray soldering and i'm going to run that all the way around and then here on this front part i want to use a nice big window so i'm gonna go with this window right here in this black and white color and we'll place that right there oh i need to look lift that up like that and then on this front porch i was gonna do the matching window to that but i said that window is a little bit too long so i'm gonna just use two of these windows this front porch space we need to turn on bb to move objects and i'm gonna use this mega front door as my front door before i change out that front step i'm gonna just go ahead and change this foundation i'm just gonna use this white brick foundation and now we can go ahead and change out this fencing so with the fencing i'm just gonna go with a plain black fencing add the black railings and then i'll do a nice white step to go with it with this roof i'm thinking we should lift this up just a little bit add this sheet metal roof pattern and i don't have to change the roof trimming because they already got the one that i use right here i'm just gonna go ahead and place these columns and as i'm doing this i'm noticing items are just automatically selling themselves so the budget is kind of climbing all right so let's grab some grass and place all the way around this house let's remove this little grass right here and here and then i'm gonna spray some dirt in these cracks and before this video is over i'll probably end up doing some landscaping but for now i'm gonna just go ahead and move into the interior all right so in this interior like i mentioned this is a two bedroom one bathroom but i'm gonna switch that up and make this a two bedroom two bathroom what i'm thinking is this little space right here is like the little opening to the basement but we can kind of remove this so let's remove this stuff first and remove this wall that's separating this stuff take this and move it on oh, it Oh, we got to go down to do it. Okay, so we can place this right here. And then I'm going to end up making this bedroom smaller. So I'm going to just pull this out once. Let's close that off. And then this will be the second bathroom right here. And back here in this space, I'm thinking we just go ahead and make this bathroom right here. Because this is not a master bathroom. I think we should make this a little bit smaller to a normal size bathroom. And then make this space back here the new laundry room. And another thing I'm going to switch is where this living room is placed at. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this stuff out of here and then we're gonna move this kitchen to that space back there because i feel like it fits a little bit better towards the back of the house than right here at the front door so i'm gonna just grab my sledgehammer remove all the rest of this little junk add some lights back throughout here paint all throughout with this basic standard paint swatch and then i'm not even gonna lie with this house right here i'm kind of feeling these bowl of cherry wood wood floors so i'm gonna run this all throughout except for in the bathrooms i know this is something that i forget a lot in my bills which is my doors and archways and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and place the archway there for the laundry room and then we're gonna use these doors right here the room doors and the bathroom doors this space back here is the new kitchen space and i'm just gonna run four cabinets down this wall place my refrigerator down here on the end then maybe i'll just slide that down one move that place this london stove boom and i think i want to add another cabinet back so i'm gonna just slide this down place a cabinet there and then on this end i want to use this double tile cabinet and i know this might not be functional but to make this look better i'm gonna place a full tile cabinet there full tile there another full tile cabinet uh we're gonna do a half a tile above the refrigerator and then a stove vent i need to shrink it down one and place that right there here in the center we're gonna do an island i'm gonna make that three cabinets wide and i want to do this little bill hack that i did in one of my most recent tickets talks so what i did was i took these little shelves right here and i placed them against the back of this and then i just stack and stack and then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and then here in the center i'll actually be placing a island cabinet so i'm gonna stick my sink in this island oh and i just noticed this cabinet is going to be interfering with that so we're gonna have to remove that and i'll just end up placing a regular cabinet here i wanted to do a bar stool in that space but we'll just use a regular cabinet there and for the backsplash i was thinking maybe we do something like this because i just feel like that ties in with the floors and stuff build a wall here and now let's work on this living room space okay so in this living room space we can do like a little caddy corner 
small like fireplace place this small glass in it and then run some immaculate shelving above that all right and that's not where i'm gonna place the tv at i'm still gonna end up placing my tv here and then i'm gonna use these sectional pieces but i don't want this to be like a sectional i want it to be like basically a normal couch but i can't actually make a normal couch if you get what i mean so i'm gonna place this little piece on the end right here slide this over and back grab the wedge and then place this left armrest here right in front of this couch we're gonna do a small table as our coffee table and i was thinking we place a small chair like this like right here slide this table over and up trying to make space for everything i still have walk room so it might look a little off but i'm gonna change the color of this couch add a nice little rug in here and matter of fact, now I'm just thinking about it. I think I just want to remove this. I want to do like that little look where it's like a little small fireplace on the side. And then you got the TV in the center. But this little room is a little bit too small for that. So what I'm going to do is actually place my couch here. Grab a TV stand and stick up under this TV. And then I'm probably going to end up doing a black accent wall in here. Well, you know what thing? I think that black is a little bit too much. So I'm going to use this accent wall. All right. So since we wasn't able to place bar stools at this little island, I'm going to stick a table here in the center. Grab some nice little chairs and i'm gonna stick them around it but i'm gonna push them in the table except for the little the little end chairs in this bathroom i'm gonna use one of my most expensive nice tile floors which is these limestone tile floors i'm gonna run that through there like that grab a cabinet out the kitchen and stick that in here and then i'm gonna do a sink build hack in here so i'm gonna grab this sink right here with the little gold handles and slide that up in there like that and then stick these long led mirrors along this back wall and you guys know i'm gonna pull that all the way down to the edge all right so i'm trying to eat this budget up a little more so i'm gonna try to go with one of my most expensive toilets maybe something like that and then a shower tub combo right there i'm gonna place a picture above this toilet all right so let's move back here to this laundry room in this laundry room we don't have to do the double stack washer and dryer so i'm gonna stick my washer there and then the dryer right beside it and above this i'll probably just do two half a tile cabinets with the macular shelving underneath it all right so this is the secondary bathroom right here so in this bathroom i'm just gonna do the same thing use the limestone tile floors or matter of fact i want to do something different here so i want to use these black wood slash tile floors in that bathroom over here you guys seen i used the white and gold so in this one i'm going to use the black and gold except for in this one i'm just going to do a single sink and then we'll do this taller right here kind of going with the black and gold theme and then the black and gold shower tub combo and in this bathroom right here we can go with the window above the toilet and then i'll go with this little gold mirror above this sink. and i don't know if this is doing a little bit too much but should i use the black and gold wallpaper or should i just use the all black i feel like the all black looks the best all right so like i always do i'm gonna do a, like a custom closet in these bedrooms not custom but a closet with some shelves in them so i'm gonna place an archway here so you'll be able to access this room to that staircase to go down the basement and then the closet archway will go here and i'm gonna just remove this front wall and go ahead and place my shelves in here for this closet I'm not gonna do too much I'm just gonna probably do two rolls of shelves all right so in this bedroom right here i can see a nice little bed against this wall right here where this window's at two little decent nice stands on the side even though they're not a match i can paint them white and then i'll just stick a lamp on each one of these nice stands grab a tv stick down here at the foot of the bed and then grab this dresser right here and put it right there even though that's not a match to those nice stands i still feel like that dresser goes this well and it don't really matter if this is going to be a boys or girls room so i'm just going to place this little wall wallpaper back here on this back wall and right here on this wall all right so let's move back here to the master of course this master is gonna have a big walk-in closet so i'm gonna just go ahead and grab my archways and place on both sides remove this wall and then for the closet in here i'm gonna kind of go all out so i'm gonna do a custom built closet in here i think i need to stick these in the corners I gotta run these all the way up the wall i think yeah i'll just run these all the way up the wall on both sides stick these like right here and then to make it look like little drawers i'm gonna place these in the center and grab three more of those and down at the bottom place these little cabinets with the little dividers and then right in between that we can stick one more of those little cabinet shelf things against where this wall is gonna be i'm gonna just place this little ottoman and then stick mirrors in the background of these cabinets 
All right, so let's stick this bed back here. Grab the matching nightstands on each side. Dresser goes to the foot. Stick this curved TV above that, but we need to shrink this down two times. And this is the master bedroom, so you guys know I gotta do an accent wall in here. And then I'm gonna put some windows on this back wall over here. Oh, and we can do a chest in here, so we can stick this chest right there. Oh, and I didn't know we had this chandelier, so in this bedroom, I wanna place this chandelier. All right, so now let's get a first person tour of this house fully complete this is what the exterior looks like i know i said i was gonna do some landscaping but i don't think i'm gonna have enough time for that all right so let's slide right on in this front door and right here we got the living room space we got a nice little accent wall and i want to do these couches a different color but they don't have too many different color options so i just went with this black and orange color and then we got a nice little down on table here in the center because we did this island like this with these little shelves in it so we couldn't place bar stools there but this is our kitchen space um let's slide back down here to this first bedroom and this could be the boy or girl bedroom it don't really matter but you got the closet right here the shelves in it and then right here you got the little entrance to the basement which i didn't do nothing with the basement and then right here is a bathroom this is the white and gold bathroom with the limestone tile floors and then we're gonna skip the master go right here to the laundry room this is a simple laundry room just some half a tile cabinets and the immaculate shelving above the washer and dryer i slide over to the black and gold bathroom so we got the black and gold sink the black and gold toilet and the black and gold shower tub combo with the gold mirror and a black accent wall with black slash wood slash tile floors and now we can slide over here to this master bedroom okay i like the way this turned out i think i might end up removing that chandelier but other than that i like the way this master bedroom turned out um i should have placed some lamps right there on those nice things but i honestly forgot but the thing that i like the most about this master bedroom is this closet and i think i might start doing more custom closets more often in my bedrooms and then i just stuck a little foot ottoman right there where you can sit on put your shoes on or whatever but let's paint this wall and then i'm gonna just go ahead and add these lamps to these nice stains and we oh we almost used the whole budget so we down to two thousand six hundred and eighty one dollars and the budget was thirty eight thousand which removing stuff in the house kind of made the budget a little bit bigger but we did almost use the whole budget so y'all drop down in the comment section let me know what y'all think it is and let me know if y'all want to see more videos like this and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video